AABIP Educational Video Series Illumicite Digital Tomosynthesis Fluoroscope Setup The fluoroscope should be set to 15 pulses per second, noise reduction to 0, and edge enhancement to 7. The fluoroscope is then brought in at a 90 degree angle to the bed and the board underneath the patient. The intensifier is lowered above the patient's chest to about 20 centimeters or two fists. The catheter needs to be within 2.5 centimeters of the nodule for digital tomosynthesis setup to launch. Once local registration is launched, we assign the orientation of the fluoroscopic view. In this case, the top of the screen is the head and the right side of the screen is the patient's left. An AP shot is obtained, centering the navigation catheter in the middle of the screen within the blue circle, taking care to avoid excessive mediastinal structures or ribs within the blue circle. Note, nine beads need to be visible in a vertical fashion for an accurate digital tomosynthesis sweep. In this example, there are 10. At this point, we check our sweep to ensure there is no mechanical obstruction to the movement of the C-arm, starting first at LAO 25 degrees, and a test x-ray is obtained We then proceed to RAO 25. At this stage, the pedal is depressed and the blue prep screen is achieved. We ask our anesthesia colleagues to start a 20 centimeter breath hold, which will be held throughout the entirety of the sweep. Here we see an example of the breath hold maneuver with the airway pressure being allowed to plateau near our target 20 centimeters of pressure. Notice a very slow gradual increase of pressure towards the dotted target line. And only here with the red arrow do we really achieve our targeted pressure to begin the sweep. While using the high intensity fluoroscope pedal, the C-arm is slowly swept over the course of 20 to 30 seconds between RAO 25 and LAO 25 in a smooth, continuous fashion. Once this is completed, the green pedal is depressed and the patient is allowed to ventilate once again. The procedure list then marks the tip of the navigation catheter and two views. The lesion is marked in the same location that it was marked in the planning phase. The lesion is then marked in the extreme left of the sweep by dragging the bar or slider at the bottom of the screen first to the left and marking the lesion, then to the opposite side, dragging the bar to the right and remarking the lesion. To check the magnitude of adjustment that occurred, simply tap the on-off switch and note the jump in the lesion location. Once the lesion location is updated, we re-navigate to the new location of the target and achieve optimal alignment. At this point, we can remove the LG and proceed with biopsy.